Okay, let's take a look around this, uh, well, in my opinion, absolutely mint. Land Rover Defender 90, 50th anniversary, 4 litre V8. This one's number GB366. And this one's just come to us fresh from restoration by a, uh, a known specialist in these that buys them, collects them, collects all the parts, and uh, bit by bit puts them back to, um, to original standard. And this one, as far as we can tell, is about as original as you can find, even down to the original radio, which, uh, radio cassette, which um, apparently took a great deal of uh, effort to source. Most of these have been personalised to a certain extent over the years, but uh, this one, as I say, is resolutely to, um, to original factory specification, and in my opinion, all the better for it. Um, obviously, as always, finished in Atlantis Blue Micatallic, and this one has uh, just had a full repaint in, uh, in the correct colour. Um, fitted with the correct pewter alloy wheels, shod with a matching set of uh, original spec BF Goodrich all-terrains, TAs. Um, it's got the uh, external roll cages, basically exactly as it should be for a 50th. Let's take a slow walk around it and then we'll uh, look at stuff a bit more closely. I normally say let's look at some good bits and bad bits, but um, bad bits? Don't think so, not on this one. So there we have it, let's start at the front. Um, as I say, just come fresh from uh, uh, from the paint shop. So um, superb paint on it in my opinion. Uh, they've done a really good job, especially in the sunlight here. Obviously my shadow's getting in the way, but um, you can see the micatallic and the, uh, the slight color changes as the, as the sun hits it throughout. It's obviously had a new front bumper on it. Amazingly, the washers are already starting to discolor on the top of the front bumper, but uh, yeah, that's a defender for you. Um, looking down the near side, looks beautifully straight. Uh, the doors have all been restored and um, they didn't follow the easy option of fitting later Puma doors. These are the correct uh, earlier doors on this one. Um, carrying on up and round. The roll cage is all in good order. Um, scuffle corners and screen blocks are all excellent. Screen is nice. It looks like the uh, the rubber seal around the screen is relatively new. Wheels are in excellent shape. Let's go underneath the front left-hand corner. Doors lovely. As I say, the doors are restored ones, so the frame down the bottom here is fantastic. It's got the correct speakers in the doors. Again, most of them have been changed or uprated. And as I say, even down to the original, uh, the original type radio cassette, which is tuned to Radio 4 at the moment. Uh, it's got all the right bits in it in terms of its alloy uh, transfer box lever and um, window winders. Headlining is excellent. Seats in the correct Rayleigh trim again are excellent. Sorry about the shadows, it's a bit of a low sun today. But um, the seats, both driver and passenger one, are in excellent shape. Side steps are in good order. Near side rear wing is all rather splendid. Oh, a couple of polish marks, we just haven't got the polish off properly. Sorry about that. We'll get those out. Um, looking under the back end here. And around the tail end. Go inside. The 
again the tailgate is the correct type for the vehicle and again perfect along the bottom edges bottom of the frame and in the back here apart from this tiny stain on this seat here which I hadn't spotted before um, the seats are all in splendid order as I say this is exactly as it left the factory 22 years ago Looking down the driver's side. Very straight once again. And we'll, uh, again, we'll have a look under here. Need to get some of this polish off a bit better in a couple of places. It's just so we've given it a clean once it's arrived. Uh, but offside door, lovely. Offside front wing, again, lovely. And up here, screen block, lovely. Sorry, my shadow's getting in the way. Um, it is, so in my opinion, I don't think I've, I've sold a few 50s over the years, probably about 20 of them, um, if not more. And this is probably one of the finest ones, well, probably the finest one I've ever really had through my hands, I think. And I do like the fact that it's been uh, put back to completely original spec. Again, door on the driver's side here, perfect. Um, dash, seats. Very, very, very hard to fault, in my opinion. So, there we have it. My name is Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.moto, that's M-O-T-O hyphen drome, D-R-O-M-E dot com. End.